Okay, so here's the basic science that makes you developing the next level powers of your mind possible. The science we're talking about is that of your consciousness. And before the end of this video, I'm gonna explain to you where your consciousness comes from. And if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to do all the things with the buttons. So in order for you to understand your consciousness, we first need to touch on how quantum fields of energy work. Don't worry, I'm known for explaining things in a way that people can understand them. So in quantum mechanics, there are these fields of energy that provide the energy for the whole universe to exist. And while there are multiple fields that come together to make this whole dance possible, for each type of energy, there's just one field covering the whole infinite expanse. And so these things are both infinite and non-local because there's just one thing covering the whole universe with that type of energy. Now through these fields vibrate some waves in the form of wave functions. And they create the potential for things to occur in those fields that can then pass energy from those fields into our 3D space time through an event horizon. For instance, the electron field is just the one thing throughout all of the universe independent of space and time. When a wave function drops and says an electron should be here, that electron is created in that 3D space time and delivers the energy. And that's why all the electrons are all the same throughout all the universe. Like adults, this is John Wheeler who thought it was one electron passing backwards and forwards in time. Not really, but kind of. So now, where do you come into this whole thing? Because we started talking about consciousness, right? Well, while you do have consciousness, contrary to what you've been told, your consciousness is not created by your brain. Now, don't get me wrong. Your brain and body do govern and influence the consciousness you experience as a human being. In fact, I got two five-star books out on exactly how that happens. But we have dispositive proof that brains are required for consciousness. Because there are people right now here on Earth living happy and healthy lives who don't have much more than brain fluid in their head. In fact, there was one person walking around who had not much more than a brain stem and a bunch of fluid in their head who had a measured IQ of 126 and was attending Oxford University. And by the way, for my scientific friends who attach themselves to the idea that consciousness is an emergent property of the brain, it is impossible to have an emergent property from a complex system where the property itself is a substratum of the complex system in question. You dummies, you're supposed to be the smartest people in the world. Put on your thinking caps. Now for everybody else, we'll discuss the specific physics experiment in the next video that proves what I'm about to tell you here. But your consciousness, the thing that makes you, you, actually comes from an indivisible field of energy that is fundamental to the universe because it's the thing that collapses wave functions. And you are a distinct energy pattern from within that field, just like all the other fields that make up all the other stuff. A house is just an energy pattern from a bunch of connecting fields. And that energy pattern within the consciousness field is you. And your conscious energy pattern plugs into your body to give you this human experience. But in reality, the real version of you isn't what you see when you look in the mirror. The real you is the conscious energy in the field, which is connected to the one individual visible field, meaning you have access to the whole thing. Which means that if you can remove the barriers up here that are there to protect you from the larger consciousness infinity, there are going to be some pretty amazing days ahead for you, my friend. And let's not pull any punches here because this field of consciousness is the very logos that Heraclitus and the original Gospel of John spoke of in the Bible before it was edited out. Go check it. In the beginning, it wasn't the word, it was the logos. This field that you're wired into is the origin of all repetition, pattern, and form, the divine animating principle pervading the universe that out of which the un manifest becomes manifest and you can control your little corner of it and that can change the world next video is the specific science experiments